Hello everybody and welcome once again to all the mods for I've there's a new release just come out actually it's 4.1.0 so I'm actually using the the first 4.1.0 and I'm a few I'm recorded a few episodes ahead so it'll be a couple of weeks before this comes out anyway I've been busy resource gathering so let's have a quick look at that first of all so in my hand, I have a little pocket computer and I put the monitoring program on there. So if we can have a look at that. In fact, if I move that to be your offhand, it actually works quite nicely, you can see. So it says I found two sets of, three sets of diamond ore, actually two of the same one. Uh, I just happened to go through the two tunnels. So that was quite nice. Um, resources, that's true, they're being processed and are in here. They're going up reasonably well as it happens as you can see i've got quite a reasonable amount of ores and i'm going to need those ores of course so we're going to do that and i've got a lot more coming through anyway because they're downstairs and we'll have a look at that because it's worth having a look at i've also wanted to build actually i wanted to do that first of all let's do that first of all i wanted to build a tank now i think there's a three or four tanks in this pack to store fluids and this one looks like the best so we've got fluid storage tank which stores up to 64 buckets of any fluid. So it's actually fairly cheap, it's just four glass, four iron and uh, obsidian, so let's make one of those. If you have a look at the other tanks here, we've got this one here from RF Tools Utility, which is three pieces of glass, uh, a machine frame. Now this is sort of where it gets a little bit sort of, I suppose, pricier. And then it's got this fluid screen module, which I guess makes it go up run faster maybe i should build one of those and we've got a basic tank here the basic tank is also actually surprisingly like these are three pieces of iron each so that's 10 iron so definitely this is well the cheapest and actually this one only holds six buckets 16 buckets so what's the point unless of course there's something spe difficult with this one anyway we've made it and it's here and i'm going to put it down because i'm actually set up that pump to pump up lava from this area if you remember back i did all of that and that was the, and that's the oh we found this oil this oil here and i've taken some oil out of it probably not bright enough actually let's just brighten this up a bit let's press f4 make sure yeah it's nowhere near bright enough is it um some torches i really don't need mob spawning not that i have much fun going across the oil oops of course i'm out of range let's just uh, I'm not sure if I move it out of range what happens, but let's just see if I can get this one on here. Let's go a bit nearer to it. Where can I reach that one? Yes, I can reach that one. Fine. And over here, that one. So that's all lit up reasonably well, but it looks like there's a, like something through there. But the mobs can't go in because it's only one block high, So except for spiders, of course. Let's turn that off while we're trundling down here so it says all of the four miners are actually finished and I have been running four miners going across here and this is the area where I've basically been collecting lava from so here I set up a diesel generator and that's full of diesel it's 50,000 FE it holds in there and it's used up four buckets I think it hasn't used up very much at all because that's I put six of these canisters in so it's used up 100 Milli buckets and it's pumped up this four lava in here. Now we can get the lava out with ordinary buckets or these canisters. So here's a canister, four canisters of lava. And now I don't know whether I can use the tank. Let's have a look. So I was going to put this tank in here, wasn't I? Let's try it. I don't know how it's going to work with these canisters. If it doesn't, I have to find a different way. Um, so I guess this doesn't have any user interface. You can right click it and nothing happens. So I get hopefully we can simply take these lava to the canisters here and right click them on that no that doesn't work either <laughs> sort of didn't think it would um but i reckon a bucket of lava will work in here it's just yes sure enough that's gone into here and that's now got a thousand it doesn't show up interestingly enough so the next problem would be to transfer this into here now i guess what you can do is you can not the diesel generator let's put the buckets in here like this and that should take all of the lava out of here like this keep clicking these off and it'll pull up some more if i put those in there nothing happens right okay 
that's a bit of a shame. I'm going to have to find a way to be able to empty these canisters out. I don't think Silent Mechanisms has yet got anything special on it. It does have a new version and it does have new tabs. Like that. And this is one of the things I think you can put into here, a range upgrade. So let's put the range upgrade into here because it's probably about the only one that makes sense to put a range upgrade in here. So it should pick up lava from a different area. I'm not sure where it actually has to pick it up from. I, let's have a quick look at the silent mechanisms. And you'll see here we got these here. This is probably the last. Let's have a look at this. Yes, I'm not sure it's going to mine out. So let's just have a look over here. It's probably going to go too far. This pick's just about broken. Yeah, it's probably too far, this one. So we'll, ta we'll take this one with us. As you can see here, it's nearly empty as it happens. So I'll take this one with us. Pick it all up. And we'll set this one going off. And this time, I did last time I did this one, so I'm going to return it back to where it starts. So we'll have this. And then you'll see this one's going to start and come up on here like this, as you can see. So now we're going to put this, a second one down here like this. The one we just picked up, I mean, minor four. And we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to do safe branch. Uh, we're going to go side, it's a side branch, it's 80 long, and it's, we're going to go left and we're going to go three because there are three turtles in here. And before I press this, of course, I've got to load it up with this stuff. So we need one piece of stone, 64 cobblestone, and some torches. Now I don't, I'm not using those, I'm using the fiery torches. And that will do, and that'll go off and start mining. Next one along, probably the same thing. This is actually, oops, it's pushing me around. Why? Oh, that's the other one that's pushing me around. <laughs> probably full inventory. Um, this one is just, it's probably going to empty itself out straight away. So let's just do that as well. So we'll do safe branch. I'm going to say three, and it's probably empty itself out straight away. And this one, the same thing here. It doesn't, doesn't need to have these torches in. Yes, indeed, it's pushing me around. <laughs> and this is going to go and start mining for a little bit. But it's a bit short on torches, actually. It needs a little bit more than that. So let's go and grab some torch. Nah, let's let it do its own business. And do that so I don't have to mess around with it. Three. And you'll see on my little pocket computer here, I've got the same text that I will be seeing on the main computer. And you'll also notice down here, because we went to the entity last time, we've got some shulker boxes and I've been making some shulker boxes here. And this is, I've been filling up the stuff that it's been collecting and been collecting, mostly ores as it happens, and been putting the stuff into here. So let's just empty out my inventory here like this. I'll keep one of those with me. Which tool shall I keep with me? This pickaxe, I guess. And then empty out this. I can't empty it all out because in here it's got more stuff than... Oops, wrong way around. <laughs> oh dear, dear. So gravel, get rid of the gravel. Get rid of the different ores. Try that again. What do I just do? Gravel, quicksilver ore. Moonstone. I've added Moonstone to this program now, so it's going to stop on Moonstone. If you look at the reason reason for that, if you look at the uses of this, you can make weapons and tools. And this is actually one better than Diamond in terms of... Well, actually, it's significantly better than Diamond. And this is an 8 with a 1.6. I'm not sure what a Diamond Sword is, to be honest. I think it's 7. So it's, it's definitely got better weapons and tools than standard old Minecraft Diamond Armour. Uh, I think that's lead all. No, I can't put shit in there. Okay. So that's what I've got in here. So we'll put the rest of the stuff back into here like this. And you'll see the number of diamonds I've got. I've got a reasonable number of diamonds. Two stacks, 27. I've also got with me now in this bag here one stack of diamonds plus 32 phantom membranes if I can get that guy. There's also something else you will see in my bag here. I built between episodes a wooden wrench. Now the wooden wrench is quite neat. Let's just I'll demonstrate it. So for instance, it's usually a bit of a problem to put an 
a hopper in a, in a particular place so without having to mess around a bit this one will actually turn it around so let's for example make it face that direction so it's facing into the wall as you can see here now the wooden wrench allows you to turn basic items around so if I have to shift right click it I have to move this I did actually move as you can see let's put that into this hand and do that again so you don't see you can see it turning around like that so you can basically turn it around all the four directions I don't know whether we can do it to upwards what happened there oh, actually that faced that particular direction let's go up the top and click it on the now that's just turning it opposite sides by the looks of it so you if you want it to go down you have to point it down and you can't make it go down with this tool as far as I've seen um, let's try it on the top here no you see it's just turning around but if you do it on the side it'll go around all the four different positions so that's that quite handy because what I did here as I started off by putting this into the building this in and then I decided later on to go down here and mine all the way down here to see if there was anything interesting I've done it over here as well um, let's put this in the offhand again just in just in case something happens in fact it's already found number two which is the top one over here has found some diamond ore same thing as before have I got them yes I've got this with me because I know that one three and four are on the on the left hand side and this one is on the right hand side I guess Oh, it's found it straight away. Look at this. Yeah, found. It's found it. So what we're going to have to do is break some blocks away. Let's break this top one. Oh, wow. Yes, there we go. Indeed, there is. So what I'm doing these days is I'm just going out of range, as you can see. Moving slightly in range and then or excavating. Then that way I'm not getting any risks of losing stuff uh, by hitting the thing again. How many do we get that time? I got 13 and there's one down there let's just get that one down there it'll pop out in a second I reckon next time he drills the hole drills the hole around here we should be able to pick it up and as you know look has it got 13 oh 14 so I have picked it up already so you can see from that little bit of there we get quite a decent number of diamonds with this wonderful pick the stone breaker well worth investing in so there we are anyway what is going to show you is something else I think I've discovered another mine shaft I think he says think because I'm not 100% sure let's just put those into there like that and then we'll keep the rest of the stuff we'll get the rest of the stuff back out of here again so we want it I don't want the um, the lava bucket so let's shift click those out like that and have a look explore down here because these happen to be five blocks long so one channel of three high it does the same sort of um, mining as the other one almost the same in fact probably be good might be sensible putting this in my way so I made it I sort of closed it off a little bit here because just in case there are any mobs deciding to spawn in this area will be safe um and where is it now it's up there look you see wooden wooden posts so how do we get up there i can't remember a bit complicated route now when i came here last time there is something over there you can see there's a, a mob with a shield and i think I don't know what this means it's a golden um, armored oh he's like his tough too well wow. I don't know how much health he's got but he's got a lot As you can hear I keep hitting him oh my goodness let's get this into my hand see what we've actually picked up Golden Chest Anderson's Gift Pants Plus. 
golden boots, golden helmet, and he definitely had something else with him. So this looks very promising. What's this down here? Red sandstone. Do you know, I haven't seen red sandstone in a Minecraft game for a very long time. Um, I don't know whether I want to do this just now. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm not chickening out very much. Well, a little bit, I suppose. But I don't want to tread on this necessarily. Let's have a quick look over here because it looks sort of interesting. I've got some blocks with me. Yeah, I've got a good decent stack of... Oops, I can hear somebody. Another skeleton. Probably coming from this direction. Hard to say. Anyway, I don't trust the red sand. I'm going to... Sand I'm going to put just put some blocks down here like this. This is a slightly infuriating when it's out of reach. But we've got these mystical mushrooms from um, Britannia. Let's put this down here like this and see what's going on. I do have my helmet with me. Well, that would probably be a sensible thing to put on. So I've got the helmet and I think it's in the this bag here. It's the Neptune helmet with night vision so let's put that one on oh i <laughs> of course i've got my other boots on this is an interesting sort of area isn't it let's take this sword and go and sort this zombie out are there any more around here yes there's one at the a couple of one at the back there there's a baby zombie as well i saw Maybe it'd be a good... Oh, yeah, there we go. It's in the same block. When it gets in the same block, you can't hurt me. Oh, another one. Oh. He hit reasonably hard, didn't he? This is a, a sort of an interesting area. Well, he's getting picked up. Is my inventory full? Indeed, my entry inventory is full. So let's just uh, make some space. If I've got any space, I can clear stuff up in. Let's put this in here like this, because they don't stack very well, so it's a good place to put them. Oh, yeah, there's a skeleton there, look. And another one over there. This is actually fairly interesting. I'll have to explore this at some stage. There we go. He dropped in and he dropped in and said hello, so here we are. Let's put down a block of cobblestone down here and have a look down here. Well they're not coming from here, that's for certain. Travelling over all our stuff, even with the best armour on it. Well, don't know where they're coming from. That's a block of gold. Gold's in short supply. I'm still short of gold. Reasonably short of gold. So I'm not going to waste the opportunities for taking it. Alright. Well, I think I'll explore this. If anybody wants me to explore stuff on camera, let me know. Because I really don't know whether it's, you find it interesting or boring. I actually quite enjoy watching people do it. So let's go back. I'll leave this open like this. In fact, I better put my other helmets on just to make sure that I don't see stuff that I shouldn't be seeing. Ah, oh, there's nobody near. If I get it in the right place, it is. If it's too, if it, you get sometimes um, confused with wearing a night vision helmet on. Because sometimes if it's just a little bit too bright, you think, oh, what's going on here? And I can't put it back in again. So, are the other guys working fine? They are indeed. As you can see, it's still picking up a load of stuff. So what I'll do is I'll come back in a few minutes when, this, when these two miners have finished mining. So I'll see you shortly. Well... I'm just, <laughs> I'm just upstairs and I came upstairs to empty out some of my stuff. Look what's happening. <laughs> There's a gold enchanted 
zombie village is being spat up by the llamas. <laughs> and you can see his health is probably going to go down a reasonable amount. It is. So they do protect quite nicely the other guy. Oops. That's the end of him anyway. The gold chest plate. I didn't actually look at this armour very well that I've got here. These are Anderson's gift pan, gilt pants. Magic Protection 7, Unbreaking 8, and Ocular Aversion 2. I have no idea what Ocular Aversion is. There's a lot of these which are not that clear. And he's got this plus. So it looks like a very good pair of pants to remove their enchants and put them somewhere else. Because gold doesn't actually keep that much up. That much up. And I was just going to put the stuff into here, by the way. I'm just sorting out my inventory. So any of the, any of the ores that I pick up, Get put into into here like that and marble and all the rest of the stuff goes in here so we'll just take this out of here like that i think that those two are now empty and when i was just exploring in that mine i actually did find three heads so let's get rid of this stuff there and there that gets rid of most of it we've got some cobstone that goes into here there and in here that's getting pretty full actually i keep having to compress cobble uh glow redstone into into blocks in fact i've actually been fiery glass has also been compressed into blocks quite a few things i actually got eight zombie heads um nothing in there that can go in there but we can shift this click stuff this into here you'll see this is also building up very nicely not only from basically most of it's from mining as it happens but not all of it's from mining some of it's coming from here the two the farms that we built last time and have automated there's also baby baby animals in here i don't know how much i've got in here me for a while to have a spec on this thing 430 it takes quite a long time and i've got pink slime so i'm going to, have to get rid of that pink slime from there otherwise it might stop working not 100 percent sure to be done honestly um I guess I was looking at this. I was looking. I forgot what I was doing for a second. Let's have a look in here. You'll see in here. I've got actually quite a lot of different different uh, things. Plenty of pumpkins. Good trading stuff. So what I want to do today is I want to go my over to this village over here and then make a tunnel and build a railway between those two um, places. That's one of the reasons I've been doing such a lot of resource. Uh, um, grabbing at the moment. What have we got on my? Oh yes, I know. Now this probably won't go into here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to turn this into higher level ores. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, I'm ready to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is actually upgrade one of these um, chests, I think, or one of these barrels. I think we can do this gold to diamond barrel upgrade, which is one diamond, which is nice. I'm going to upgrade this one. It gives us another mm, bit of space so we can carry on filling it up. I should really upgrade this one to gold. We'll do that off camera. But it's, actually, it's fairly cheap. I'm surprised. So now we're going to start tunnelling. I'm two blocks higher than I would like to be. And I marked a spot. So it's 268. So we'll say 270 blocks. So we're going to tell this thing to tunnel along for 270 blocks. Before I do that, I'm going to say it's refuel. So I'm all if i can spell it with a type of course and then it'll take all of this out of here and it will give me the buckets back oh we can get the buckets back like that uh so now you see you've got plenty of fuel so we're going to say then to a tunnel we're not going to use the safe branch program 270. And it's going to start tunneling and it should tunnel in this direction it does about three high no two high by three wide is the actual tunnel size so we're going to have to start following it. Um, but there are some nice things that we can do with this. It, if it comes across a hole, it's going to fill it in on the in the centre row. Um, and I'm just going to follow it with some torches. I'm just going to it's going to just miss the cemetery here, which is also quite handy. <laughs> I'll just let it go, get on with its stuff. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go downstairs and start the last three miners again. So I'll see you in a short while when this has got near to finishing. Well, it finished. As you can see, I put down some torches here and it comes right out in the village. Um, but 
on along the way there's a few bits and pieces I've got to have to fill in because there's a cave and um, around here I think we'll see that in a second it can be dangerous of course we don't want things dropping in so the next thing I'm going to do here is to fill this in as you can see there's areas in here that are probably not safe um, and you'll also notice it has been putting down path down here as you can see I put the I put the torches down so I'll do that between episodes and as you can see if we come a little bit further along here we'll end up actually in the village I'm sure we're almost there as you can see the um, the turtle is here so I'm going to have to wall this area off a bit and then we should be right on the path into the village here actually one block out of it but it doesn't make any difference so there we are right back to base I'll see you in a second right I'm back at base you'll notice I've actually put a wall here so that it'll prevent mobs coming in in fact with a cart there's a trick and you'll notice I'll show you that later on but you'll also notice down here there's a whole load of waypoints and the reason why I've marked all these waypoints is because I was looking at the um, here you can see I've got enderman and skeleton spawn eggs and I've got a whole load of minecarts and a load of track and I've also got an enchanting table some obsidian ingots some mana steel ingots actually even more cards uh what happened was i noticed in the where the turtles were mining there was uh, these spawn eggs in fact there's quite a few bits and pieces in there these spawn eggs are a bit strange so i investigated and <laughs> what i discovered was a big cave so i guess that they were actually at the bottom of the big case we'll have a quick look at that now what was that there some drops that disappeared I think this might be full actually. Let's have a look. Empty hand. No, no, not quite. It's 4096 is when it's full. You'll see that everything's bright because I've got my helmet on, the, the night vision helmet. Now, the night vision helmet actually does go off from time to time, which is probably a little bug, but it's not too important. So I'll come down here and I'll show you exactly what's happened. takes a few I've actually explored both you can I've actually explored both mines there's one behind us and there was one here so we're going to have a look at this one up here and this is actually turns out that this mine is absolutely massive you wouldn't it's a bit it's probably the biggest mine I've ever seen in Minecraft I don't know whether that's something new in 114 or whatever but it's it's huge it goes on for blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks here we go, and I've lit it all up, and I've got a number of spawners. You can have a look on, actually they're not there, but you look over here, there's a whole load of spawners. There's zombie spawners, there's a husk spawner, there's a creeper spawner, there's another husk spawner, uh, and cave spider spawners, the works. I could just hear somebody moving them, actually. So I've emptied all of this out, and I found all of these uh, minecarts. As you can see, I don't think there's anywhere else I've not been to in here. I think I've done it all. As you can see on the mini on the mini map now, if I zoom in the mini map, you'll see how big this is. All of these are tunnels. Actually, looking to my this way here, there are some tunnels that haven't been done. You can see that they're in the dark. So I've got to go and find those at some stage. Now, I actually died twice in these tunnels and what was happening and I, this is something also new on wrong plate wrong way um i'll go back over here as when i was putting stuff into or breaking a mine cart a, a lava um source block spawned and killed me <laughs> just as easily as that i couldn't get away from it fast enough so um I don't know whether that's a new feature from a mod that's been added in 4.1, which it might well be, or it's um, something else. Anyway, what I've been doing now is I've got a bucket of water and I'm carrying a bucket of water with me when I'm doing any of this exploring. So this is the other mine here. I'll go over this way. And you can see it's coming into view now. And this is also a very large mine. So if I press zoom on it again, you'll see that there's, I think I've covered most of this, but the spawners are interesting too. So let's go and have a look at those, or at least one of them. 
the husks border here 25 blocks away and how do I get to it that's the question they're not always uh, so obvious probably this way Oh, the zombies want to just all right we can go past here but there's actually that must be another level up or down i'm not sure which usually find crossways and when you reach these um oh, a load of these um some mushrooms from <coughs> well, that's the end block i put a i put a torch at the end like that to say this is the end so it's a dead end I shouldn't really I should put one at the end here as well to so indicate that it's actually a dead end because you can't go any through the through there. So I've got some dutch from this, so I'll have good. Let's put one of those down there. Um, can't see if there's a dead end down. Oh no, maybe not. In fact, you can see on the map if I look carefully, couldn't I? You see, one of my deaths is just coming up here. So there should be a zombie spawner just off here somewhere. Let's have a look. I think the creeper spawn is just here. Nope. <laughs> uh, it must be above me or below me, one of the two. I'll tell you what, I'll find it and come back in a few seconds. Actually, this is a cave spider, a spider spawner just here. Not a special one. And I'm so current to it. I'm going to see if I can find one of the special ones. See you in a minute. Right. I found a cream that, and you'll see here it's got a bone block or smooth sandstone above it and here underneath it there's actually a chest so <clears throat> so let's dig up the chest and have a look what's in there they're usually very good rewards in this and the ones the special ones always seem to have that here's, here's the um, here's the chest in you can't open it because it's blocked so let's just break this chest what have I got with me to break it probably this one will be sensible And you'll see what I've picked up. So I've got a chest, which I've picked up, of course, a book, a lead, obsidian, iron ingots, and I think that was basically it, wasn't it? Or maybe some more iron in here. You usually end up with something like, that's my captive dream sword. You usually end up with another sword. Oh, I did get this sharpness 10 sword from a trader, wandering trader as well. So just to be on the safe side, we'll put a torch down here and make sure that you there's no way that he's going to spawn any creepers because that would be nasty right i'll see you when i've um, finished off uh, <clears throat> i'm going to go back home now and i'm going to that now i want to back home i'll see you again to get these green areas as well when i filled in that tunnel until then bye for now so hello i'm back and i've completed this tunnel let's just go and have a look at it you'll see i put some dirt on it I've made this dirt thing. It looks sort of a bit artificial, but it'll do. And down the side here, I've put some uh, bricks. And the track's dead easy to lay. Oh, I didn't do the bricks everywhere. But there's only this little section to do. So what you do is you put down track like this. And then... Well, actually, I've got a stack of track here. So let's put half a stack here. And then put one more. So that's the length. 34 is the length for a... Um, piece of track. I've got some sugar in my hand. I don't need that. And then we, with the 34, we'll basically put down some powered rails like this. So every 34, you want to put down powered rails. So I've got 33 in my hand uh, iron rails, and I'll basically just simply put these down as we get as we come along. And of course, I need to put a redstone torch or something like that beside them. I've got plenty of redstone, so I'll probably use redstone torches. There's some mobs around here. I can hear. Of course, we're nice and safe now because we don't care about those mobs. In fact, I think it's coming up towards night time, so I'm going to have a quick sleep because I'm coming towards this village to make sure that the village is protected. So I'll put one more down here like that. And then all you need to do then is run this through like this. So when you run out, you know you've got your 34. So you can put a powered rail down here like that. I'll, I'll carry on a bit and do that. And what I'll do at the end of this is to make a station, but I'll probably make the station up here somewhere. So 
Sounds like a good place to make a station. Probably bring this, bring it right up until we get to around about here. I think that would be a sensible place to put the station. Or maybe just bring it down here somewhere slightly off the village. Anyway, I shall be back when I've finished off the track. I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, everything's prepared now. All I need to do is finish and make a station. So the way I'm going to do a station is the way I did it before. Fairly straightforward. I'm going to put down two powered rails down here like this. But first of all, put a, a track at the end of this. And on the other end here, we're going to put um, a detector rail. And what the detector rail is going to do is turn on this and it'll make the station going one way. Um, so it'll turn on the gold track here. We'll put these two gold tracks here. And then we just need to make a, a circle around this. So the way to do that is basically you put the four corners in like this. And it creates this loop. So it's going to go around here and then come back here. So then we're going to have to put a button or something on here because that's where it should stop. Because it, then it will be turned off. And it always seems to work on the inclines. So I've got some redstone here. So I'll put a dollop of redstone down there. One dust. <laughs> a dollop. And I've got some stone buttons. So I'll put a stone button on here like that. So when you press the stone button, it lights these two up and sends the train up the cart off that way. Oh, it's also changed this. That's not so good. I've run out of space a bit, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> Does it actually change it? Okay, maybe that'll work. Well, I'll find out in a second. Let's get a cart and see how it works. And the track is powered all the way through there. So, so basically, we're going to be sitting here. When I hope when the car when the cart comes back again. So we get into the cart and then we press the button. It should turn it on and we get sent off. And you'll notice that we go through that um, wall. So every 30 blocks, we, so when we reach a speed of 8 metres per second, I believe. Maybe I need to get them slightly more frequent. It seems to be slowing down a bit. Um, but I don't think it makes too much of a difference. We'll get there fairly quickly, I think. So might, the rules might have changed in 14.1 Minecraft, I don't know. So it's coming up to night time. And we should have the same sort of pattern over this side here. And get out. So all I need to do now is to finish off this off by putting a, a stone block down here. And a button on it. I got these the wrong way around. I'm not 100% sure. And then we go back again. Simple as that. Uh, it's night time. I'll have a quick sleep, and then we'll have a, we'll have a return journey. So let's go back again. This time, because we won't go down down hill a bit, we actually pick up speed. So base is 200 blocks away, as you can see. Actually, slightly more, of course. It's about 320, wasn't it, from, my, from what I remember. Oh, nice bit of lag there. <laughs> you get that sometimes. I'm not sure. Probably my um, render distance is too high at the moment. Too. Because I was working with the turtles, I set it up to 20. I should bring it, bring it down to 10 or 16, whatever. And then we'll actually go probably even slightly faster. Because you're in a cart, you go around there like that. Oh, no, not quite working. <laughs> so I'll have to redesign this a little bit to fix that. Um, it's a shame it goes that way. Actually, why does it go that way, in fact? Let's try breaking this one again, putting it back down again. The alternative, of course, is to move things back a bit. Or maybe even put a detector rail in here, but I don't think the detector rail will actually work. Because then it would send us, we'd stop here, replace those two around here like this. I need the other bit, the other type of track, like that. And then it would turn this on as we go out. So we'd stop here, and then this would, when we're coming back again, this would turn on. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's just try it. I'm not sure which way we'll turn now. Uh-huh. So that's unfortunate. We're going the wrong way when we get hit here. Yeah. So right? Okay. 
I shall be back in a while when I figure this out. Well, just go the other way. <laughs> Simple as that, I guess. Let's try that now. Um, we should come in here. That should come along, and then we should end up on this track. So let's put this cart down here. Get in it. We should go this way, of course. Go this way. You have to push it hard. And then we should go down here, and then we stop. Press the button, and off we go to the village. I might reduce these down by about um, 10 a couple of blocks I think because we are going a little bit slow. The other option is to put another powered rail just at the start give yourselves a quick boost as you go along but looking at this the speed is dropping off as we reach this. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.